When it comes to managing and editing PDFs, this can be a costly and complex task. So today we're going to be comparing UPDF with Adobe Acrobat because both of these are very reputable PDF editors, but as you will see, one is coming out ahead massively. So let's dive straight into this, starting with UPDF. I love about UPDF and why it is my go-to choice as a PDF editor is one because of the price which we'll get to in a minute but two it's just incredibly intuitive and I'm actually going to go ahead and edit some PDFs for you here in this video as well as exploring their AI features which really just sets the bar for PDF editors but this is basically a PDF editor that works on every device whether it's a MacBook whether it's a PC or even a mobile and these guys have really just streamlined everything to allow you to just open up a PDF, edit it, or even chat with AI about that PDF if you want. Now, downloading UPDF is super easy, and when you compare that to Acrobat, I would say it's far easier. And the reason for this is your file size is going to be a lot smaller because Adobe loves to pack in all of these other things that you've got to pay for, and yeah, it's just a waste of memory and takes longer to install. Whereas if we're looking at UPDF, it's basically you get the program, you install it because it's small, it's basically an instant installation. And then from that point, you can start using it. Now here we are in UPDF and we can see here that this is a very simple but effective style here. So we're gonna open up a file. This is a PDF, just kind of like a test one. So we can see here and just straight away, we can see it's super easy to just get in there and edit. If we want to change the title here, we can do so by changing it to whatever we want, how to edit. PDF. It doesn't jump across the screen like we've seen in Adobe occasionally. And we can also see very easy to edit other things and even add images. So let's say we want to add an image. We can actually drag across like this. It's going to take that image and then fill out whatever box we've dragged. We can go ahead and edit that as well if we want to. And it's just super easy to use. As you can see, really intuitive. We click on a box. We're going to have the option to change the color. We're going to have the option to change the font as well here if we want. And with other PDF editors, this can be a big problem because it's going to change the formatting of the file. But we can see here, it's very, very easy to handle this. We can change where, how it's centered, we can change the bold or italic style, and we can even copy it if we need to as well. Now, sometimes it feels on Adobe that they've basically just taken something like Photoshop and adapted it to PDFs, but this is a program designed exactly for PDFs. So we can see on the right hand side here, we have all these options for spacing. We have spacing after paragraphs, spacing in the paragraphs and character spacing as well. And it's all very neatly laid out in an intuitive way. Anything you want, you can easily just see, click and get it done. Whereas if we look at Adobe here, we can see that yes, everything is kind of hidden. We don't know where to click here. If we do want to change, say, the spacing of this on the document, I mean, this is an absolute nightmare mare to go with. I mean, we can go with edit. We can try and find this. No, we're just not going to find it. Whereas, yes, let's pivot back and actually see, yes, super easy to do it with UPDF. And this is why I choose UPDF when it comes to my PDF editing. Now, as well as that, they've got some really cool tools here. I mean, if we want want to say draw a highlight or draw a line through something, what we can do is do that very, very easily by simply just selecting the highlight option. We can also use a strike through or an underline here. And as we drag, it's going to underline the certain areas. This is just not a thing in Adobe. They really do just base it off Word or Google Docs or something like that on Adobe. But on this, it's all fresh. It's brand new software and it works with you rather than you having to figure it out with a learning curve. Now, if we want to insert a pencil line here as well, we can easily just select the pencil and draw on this as well. So if we wanted to basically cross something out and make it look a little bit more arty, we can do that depending on the project we're doing. So let's say you're a student 
or you're a teacher and you're marking students' work, you can do this very, very easily. And honestly, it's just super intuitive across the board. Now here we have a photo and what we want to do is edit that photo directly in UPDF. So if this was Adobe, we would actually have to go ahead and maybe open Photoshop, pay for another subscription on that. But here we have everything right as we need it. So we're going to put a signature here. You can see here we've drawn that in, we press create and what we can do is resize that how we want we can put it on the right or we can actually put it on the left here as well very very easily and if we want to use their stamp feature as well this is something i love they have all of these basically pre-baked approved stamps here that we can use and input into our pdfs so if it again if it was adobe then you're gonna to have to go and download that maybe have to paste it in and it's just not going to look quite right but if we're looking here we have done this very very easily in this case in a matter of seconds. We can also add a text field as well right on top of the photo. It's not going to reorganize the page or anything like this. All the formatting is perfect on this program. So we can go ahead and edit this and change the text if we want. And you can see that yes, it has actually done that for us and it all looks very professional. Now, another really cool feature here that they have is the find tool. So normally with Adobe, we're gonna have to press control H. We're gonna have to type something in and it's just not gonna look great. It's not gonna feel great. But as we can see with this guys, we type it in and it's going to actually give us pictures of everything we need. So in the case that you are someone that thinks and most people think like this, they think about the paragraph of where they're trying to go when they're trying to find a certain piece of text or word here. You can see here with these photos on the left hand side, they're like mini screenshots of your entire PDF, which will show you exactly what you're looking for very, very quickly. So when we're comparing that with Adobe, I mean, yes, you're going to have to scroll through everything until you find it. With UPDF, it just takes far less time. Again, super streamlined when it comes to UPDF. We can also see they have a bookmarks feature as well here. So this will basically bookmark certain parts of the PDF for you and you can just go through and find that very, very easily. Then there is the comments section here. So if we wanted to write comments on different parts of it, then it's all going to be recorded on the left hand side here and very easy to access. And of course, if we wanted to add a signature, we can do that here too. But what I really do love about UPDF is their AI. Now, if we actually pause this and go over to Adobe, I actually have a subscription for Adobe when it comes to Photoshop and video editing, of course, but let's say I want to use AI with my current subscription. I'm only going to get a certain amount of credits here, and it's really just not going to help me that much. I can ask a question about the document here, uh, but it's really just not going to give me what I want right away. And it's going to actually cost a lot more when it comes to requests. You can see I have used this before briefly, but it says no request remaining, subscribe now. So basically Adobe's always just trying to get add-ons here and AI is an extension of that where yes, it is going to just charge you more to use more features. Now with UPDF, it is a simple subscription and yes, you do get access to the AI and you'll be able to ask it anything. Here we can see it's analyzing our PDF and we can select the start chat with PDF button to just start a chat here. So in this case, it's an annual report and accounts. So it's going to basically give us some information of this and summarize it for us. As you can see here, it's writing everything about this in a, a lot more streamlined way. And that is the summarization of the PDF, but we can actually go ahead and summarize certain pages if we want, or even ask it questions here. And it's even given us a few questions to ask it uh, from the start, but we've asked it, what was Unilever's group turnover in 2024? It's nailed the answer to that question. It was 60 billion euros. And we can just keep asking it questions or selecting the questions that are relevant to what we want here. This is really cool. And honestly, I love the simplicity of this where we can just upload a PDF 
ask it what it's about, and it's going to tell us everything here in a very nice and concise way. Here, we can see it's not rambling. It's actually giving us bullet points. It's giving us titles here and saying, hey, this is what's going on. And here is the concise way actually explaining that without you having to read hundreds of pages. Now, another cool feature is the mind map. So we can see we've asked it a bunch of questions here, but we can also generate a mind map about this PDF. So generate a mind map of page one to 10, we can see it's going to think for a little bit. And then it's basically just going to create a full mind map for us. So we can look at this PDF in a different way. This could be good for different minds, essentially, depending on how you read documents or how you process data. You can see it's creating this mind map for us. And it's going through the entire document and putting it in a concise way, but also in a structured way. So we know what each part is about. So once that's finished loading, we can see we've got a full mind map here of the entire document. And yes, we can see that it looks incredible. And we can actually take that and send that to someone if we want. We can also zoom in with the zoom in buttons. And again, the buttons here on UPDF are just straightforward. They're exactly what you want. We've made it full screen here. And as you can see, we have the start with the Unilever annual reports. And then we have different sections here of that PDF summarized into short sentences. Uh, so that's fantastic. And that's something that I consider to be quite unique about UPDF, something that I actually use a lot more than not. We can also translate entire PDFs as well. So we could translate page one to 10 into a bunch of different languages, whether it's French or Dutch here, we can do it. And yes, we've selected that. And as you can see, it's translating it for us. So that is fantastic. And we're just going to let this work its magic and see what it comes back with. So here we can see it is translating it all for us into German, which I think is fantastic. And that could be good if you are running a big company or even a small company in different regions, or maybe you've just got employees that have different native tongues. This would be a great way to essentially translate what you're thinking or any documents you have into their native language so you can have a more efficient business or process for whatever you're doing. Now we can also select side by side translation as well. So here we can see we have the original document and then it's going to translate that directly here as we can see. So that's actually fantastic when we're thinking about it because we can see both documents. We can even check it if we want as well to make sure everything is good. But just from my experience using UPDF, it is just a lot better. Now, when we're comparing all of that with Adobe here, we can see it's not very intuitive at all. It's very hard to edit anything really uh, and actually go granular with it. We can see here actually just formatting the text is super hard to do. And there's just all of this. And this is like the standard Word doc stuff that we see here. But yeah, it's an absolute nightmare to navigate. Whereas with UPDF, it's just far more streamlined and intuitive with buttons pointing you to exactly what you want. Now with the AI, again, no requests remaining. Pretty hard to test this. But yes, it is going to work like other AIs. But the difference is is you're going to get way less credits. And as you can see, it's asking me to subscribe for more, which is ridiculous. So yes, if we want a good product that's streamlined and just works, I mean, PD UPDF, I mean, UPDF is fantastic across the board here. But that is my analysis and comparison between UPDF and Adobe. And of course, the winner here is UPDF. We have seen it in this video, super easy to use. Definitely what I have as my default when I do get PDFs coming through from all of my businesses, because it can analyze it very easily. I've got that lifetime subscription, so I don't have to worry about being cut off or losing anything, right? Uh, it's all there and UPDF just works. And I love how it's doing everything live with the editing as well, rather than feeling a bit more blocky with Adobe. But that's going to be it for me. Have a fantastic day. I will see you in the next one.